Yeah! For the first time, it's going down history, baby! Welcome to On The Mat with me. That's, uh, my name's Daniel McCabe. It's a brand new segment here on Nice Flex Dicks where I take you on the mat and I show you how to work. This week, our first installment, I'm going to show you a Kimura. Pretty popular submission hold made famous by Kengo Kimura. Uh, or maybe the band Kimura. Not really sure. Um, sometimes referred to as a double wrist lock because of the number of wrists involved, I guess. Um, regardless, let's do a little step by step. I got my, my training partner here, IQ Yarder. You're good to go. He's good. All right. Step by step, let's take you through this thing. So, really, you can do it from a lot of positions. The most popular and common position you're going to see it from is kind of a side control here. You can put all your weight on your opponent, like, uh, like so. He's not going anywhere. We're going to pin his wrist down with your one right hand. That's the first of that double wrist lock. We'll come back to that. You're going to figure four your arm in. Grab your other wrist. Now we got that second wrist in there. Complete the hold. I'm going to step over his head, neutralize him. He's not going anywhere. And we're just going to start putting the pressure on a little bit. Oh, starting to feel that one. There we go. So, simple as that. A few steps, pinned it down, got the figure four in there, the second wrist, pressure on. He's not going anywhere. He's going to tap out. Let's do one more in more real time. You can see it again, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So, weight on the chest, pinned down, through, ah, on wrist, there's the pressure. And you can hold on to this until he taps out or your opponent's subdued. He's not going anywhere. And, uh, and, uh, oh, that's about right. And, uh, that's how you dislocate someone's shoulder. Yeah! For the first time, it's going down history, baby! Go join the United States Marines! I'm sorry, I graduated high school. Oh. I took it off and now I'm sorry, I don't think I need to do this. Are you a little self conscious? No, but then later in the match, I could take it off to show that I'm angry. Oh, uh, I guess yeah. so. Well then, like, what if the match ends too quick for you to get angry? What if but you're going to be angry after the match ends quick, I'll tell you that. Then I can take my match, then I can take my match. No one's, no one's. Oh my gosh. I can take it off to show that I'm angry, and then put it back on later in the match, just so that I mean business. Then I can take it off again. Hey guys, Michael Bolton is here. <laughs> oh great, send him in. Oh my gosh. Sorry I'm late, I just got the call up from the Pirates of the Caribbean. Have you seen those things? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> So forfeit. Yeah, forfeit. Let's go for it. Yeah, yeah. I'll forfeit first. Or no, you forfeit <laughs> first and then I'll forfeit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I appreciate that you're gentlemanly behavior and, and there's apparently there's a first time for everything. Ooh. But I, I, would, I would like nothing more than for you to forfeit first and I will surely follow behind you. Uh, I don't think I need that. Besides, I'm mad at you after all that horseshit you've been pulling on people the last few months. You mad at me? Yeah, you're a horseshit factory. You're a horse's ass. I'm well, mad at you. Well, good. Then we can agree to be mad at each other. I think I have more reason to be mad. I think I have more What are you mad about? What am I mad about? Uh, well, let me tell you, son, who should be keeping time and nothing else. <laughs> Dream Slam 2, Day 2, the sequel to the sequel, as they call it. Zeus McFly joined the wrong team. I can only assume by accident because he's so fucking stupid. Oh, you thought it was by accident? Yes. And you think I'm fucking stupid? I think you were an accident. I think you are ah! stupid. You think I was working for them? No, sir. They were working for me. Impossible. You're the dumbass that climbed into my spider's web because you agreed to a death match with two season death match workers. I'm a death matcher. Yeah, really. I was in death hell. I won a match. I think I went 1-0 in death hell. I, I think I won death hell. How many matches did you win? Uh, two. 
More than you. So we both batted a thousand. So we can agree that we are on equal level at best for you uh, on death matches. I'm I probably see, a little bad. I seem to remember getting. I feel like you have lost more death matches than me. I seem to remember getting loan into TOH full price, and you having to pay for half your ticket. So fuck Incorrect. Ha! Ah. This is a falsehood, and I have receipts <laughs> on the internet to prove it. Yeah, you're the you're the dumbass. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna give you a receipt for this backup. Right oh, now. I will. I will give you a receipt. Give for the a backup. voucher. There's gonna be there's gonna be a voucher. There's gonna be a coupon. There's gonna be a, a T4. Look at how full of yourself you are. You know you can't even admit to yourself that you played. There's gonna track. be a T220A for education credits, which you can use, son, because you were so stupid that you joined the wrong team. Fuck it, it's team wrestling. You were on my side. You were my plan. Come on, there. Suck sticks. I'm gonna be the world champion. What do you mean I'm not big enough? I'm 800 pounds, don't you know? Wait, yes I am though. Have you seen an 800 pound man get powerbombed lately? No, you haven't. Yeah, all right, fine, fine. What do I want out of ice suck sticks? I want mandatory naps. I want hot dog Wednesdays. And I want $2 cerveza nights. What? No, 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 not the beer. We all get in the ring and we chop some of cerveza for $2 until our hands bleed. What do you mean, what's my problem? Oh, we're all blacks and a bad guy, motherfucker! You know, I don't like your attitude. Come here a minute. <laughs> oh.
was injured. That's right. That son of a bitch, Daniel McCabe. He injured me and I had to leave my partner, Scott Henson, in that ring with those two chaswazers. Oh, it was hard, but at least I got to whip the piss out of Yakuza J. Well, I'm just here to tell you that I'll be coming back and when I do, the fur is gonna fly. Hi, Cole Cabana. What's up, I Suck Steaks Multiverse? It's me, Drew Sarian. Okay, okay, don't get too excited. I'm not medically cleared to wrestle yet. I'm just here letting everybody know that as soon as I get back, as soon as those doctors tell me that my leg is all healed up, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna go for those furry fucks. First, I'm gonna declaw that son of a bitch Scott Henson, and then second, I'm gonna neuter that piece of shit Caden Talbain. I'm cutting his balls right off. And then I'm gonna run through everybody else. I'm gonna non-stop train here of wrestling, fucking, and sucking dicks. Uh, that's still up in the air. But anyways, you guys should be excited and look forward because I'm gonna come back as soon as I can. <laughs> <laughs> 